Jordan, thank you. Some parents of students at Whitesides Elementary School say they are still concerned after some students had medical emergencies over the last few weeks and the school found higher than normal levels of carbon dioxide inside the building. News 2's Sophia Radeval is live at the school and Sophia, you spoke with parents in the school district today after a meeting was held this morning. Hey, Erin. Yes, well, students and staff here at Whitesides Elementary are back to in-person learning today after they had to go to e-learning for two days last week. And this is coming after administrators say there were some air quality concerns. But parents we talked to this morning say they still feel like they don't have all the answers. Parents of Whitesides Elementary worried for their children's health. My biggest concern is for my daughter, if she's alive when I pick her up. After questions about the air quality came to light last week. I think that everybody, you know, has the, the safety of the students um, at the top of their mind. The district says a medical emergency with a student happened on September 29th and a second medical emergency happened last week on October 18th, prompting the school to conduct air quality tests due to higher than normal CO2 levels in the building. The school district says the levels are within the guidelines set by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Uh, they say they've gone through and um, checked out all of the HVAC systems, which they suspect uh, were, were the problem. Uh, they're also talking about installing uh, CO2 monitors. Monday morning, the school held a meeting with parents and teachers. Parents we spoke to said the meeting was packed, but not all of their questions were answered, one being how OSHA may apply CO2 standards differently to children. What number are you going to set here at Whitesides to determine what is safe or not safe for the kids? Or at what levels are we going to start doing different things like going outside or reevaluating our HVAC? And when I walked out a few minutes ago, they hadn't determined that number. Whitesides sent an email to parents that said, in part, moving forward, facilities management will ensure the periodic collection and analysis of data to verify the safety of the environment. Information will be shared regularly with parents via email. Our intent is to collect CO2 data weekly and mold data two times per month. And we also reached out to the Charleston County School District and they sent us a statement this afternoon also vowing to help monitor the air quality inside of the elementary school. Live in Mount Pleasant, Sophia Radebaugh, count on two. Well, we are going to get a check on the weather. A beautiful